Good to go. Okay, after here after game one of the Super Regional, we can tops Johns Hopkins 4-2. Coach, an opening statement about the game, and then we'll take some questions. Yeah. Um, Zach pitched the way he needs to pitch to be effective, right? He's moving in and out. He's down in the zone, uh, mixing his pitches really well, and kept a really good hitting team off balance for as long as he could. And then, um, you know, Kevin's, Kevin's swing there, I think, really gave us the confidence that, you know, that we could score some runs. Obviously, that guy's had a great year and pitched great again today. But, you know, that, that showed us that, hey, yeah, the game doesn't change, right? And then, you know, obviously late, you know, we didn't hit a ton of balls hard off him in that three-run inning, but, you know, we did enough to put, you know, put base runners on and anything can happen when you're doing that and putting the ball in play. And, you know, and then uh, Zach Nichols came in and did what he's been doing for us and changed the pace and got us the final outs. Coach, for uh, Cletus, who's standing next to you, to settle down after that second inning and really give you some length, how big was that for you guys today? Huge, right? Huge. Um, you know, we're going to have to play at least another nine. Right, and so even though we're down two nothing, not looking like we're doing a whole lot offensively, you know the fact that Zach was able to go deep into the game, and you know just like them, you know if we if we're in that bullpen in the third, fourth inning or fifth inning, um, advantage them, you know because their guy was going to go deep too, right? So absolutely huge. Go ahead. Uh, in the ninth inning, you, you took a mound as the first two batters reach. What was the message there? How did you settle down Nichols there? I just, I don't know if I needed to settle him down. I almost had to amp him up, you know. He was he was trying to stay within himself and all that, but, you know, he, he pitches best when he's got a little hair across his backside. And, um, you know, I think he reached, uh, found his, he found his gear there. Zach, you got nicked up a little bit in that second inning. What kind of adjustments did you make to settle down for the rest of the game? A uh, big thing was getting on top of the baseball. Um, I was kind of getting on the side of it, so my ball was moving side to side instead of uh, down. So once I started doing that, I was a little heavier and I was able to get more ground balls. Yeah, with that swing, when you got up 2-0 and you, know, you were able to put that ball over the fence, how'd that feel to you know, get you guys on the board in that spot? Um, it felt pretty good. I knew that my, my teammates had all the confidence in me at the plate. I just had to do what I've been doing the whole year. I stick to the approach that we've had. So. And this is for anyone. Uh, aside from the, the match of home run, it's been difficult to really put some hits together. What was the feeling the dugout as you guys entered that seventh inning against John Hopkins? Go ahead, guys. So I think a big thing for us is we like we uh, just keep staying up in the game. We don't get down on ourselves. We don't get too high, too low. We stay even keel, and coach is big on that. And I think it really helped us out today. And I also think just having confidence in each other. Whoever's at the plate, the person, people in the dugout have all the confidence. He's going to get the job done no matter what the count, the inning. So I think that also helps. Great. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.